What up, you six chin Shrek looking bags of cat piss? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was the worst intro ever. Don't worry, I didn't come up with that myself. It was a meme. Anyway, it's me, and speaking of cat piss, I have a package here that pretty much is just that. So... I, I would say probably sometime last year, my friend Ken, whom you all know since day one of my channel, well, not day one, but within the first few months of my channel, um, he made a video, okay, so let me back up. I had found last year that some Chinese companies had made knockoffs of, let me go get it actually, ow, dang it. Chinese companies had made knockoffs of the Bop It Micro. Yeah, they made knockoffs of this thing. And I'm not joking. They copied the design, the shape, made the thing a lot smaller. So the I think from here to here is probably from the top of the twist it to the bottom of the pull it is probably about I don't know five inches, six inches. Yeah, I'd say five inches. Um, it's a lot smaller. And it's the cheapest piece of crap I've ever ordered. I spent 10 bucks on it, though, on eBay, because I talked to Dan Klitzner when I found out about these last year, and I said that these Chinese companies are basically ripping off Boffet Micro. And this, this is literally Boffet Micro if you were doing a very cheap knockoff of like a bootleg episode of a famous TV show or something. Anyway, I'm going to open this thing and I'm going to show you just how bad it is. So the reason I ordered this is because I wanted you all to be aware that this was a thing and to not buy it because Ken made a review on this last year I saw someone else did too at one point and it's like the Bob and Micro but it's not oh this isn't even the right color that I got damn you eBay people this isn't even the right color that I ordered I don't think Anyway, I'm going to open that. Uh, the thing had four different color variations. And they are absolutely cheap. They look like something you'd get at Easter time. So bad. So this is the little shit thing I'm talking about. Yes, this is a bop it. Come on, focus camera. This is a Bop It knockoff right here. This little, not even two inch long thing. Here's the Bop It Micro. Here's the other one. It's like, it's like the Bop It Micro had a kid that was premature, basically, and had many problems with it. Anyway. I'm just going to show you how bad this thing is. So let me explain a little bit about this. So first of all, this does not have any branding on it. It's China. Um, it looks a lot. It's very lightweight. I would say it's not even a couple ounces. It's probably a couple ounces is all. Not even a pound. Because um, the Boppet Micro somewhat, somewhat 
heavier than this. Um, and so, like I said, there were different color variations. So this one I have here is a pink shell with a green bop it button. I did that in air quotes because it's not really a bop it button. They call it ready go. It's stupid. They have a pastel purple twist it. How the? Oh, that's cheap as frick, really? Oh, and they got a yellow pull it. You can, you can literally hear it click. And this is not even a twist it, mind you. Oh, you can see the back. The back is literally like the McDonald's bop it. The twist it is just all hollow. It's just got like a hole in the back and the pull it is basically up just mold, a mold, I guess. But this thing, this thing doesn't even twist, mind you. You see here, if I turn this so you can see the twist it, you can see there's a little arrow right there. You don't twist it. You don't twist it. You literally, to play this thing, you push it this way. Now, isn't that the cheapest piece of crap you've ever seen? This is probably the worst bop it I've ever... It's actually not even a bop it. It's a knockoff, ripoff, bootleg. Shazam a scam. Okay, that was, that was stupid. Anyway... Oh, and the button moves because of how cheap the damn thing is. Anyway, I'm going to take the tab out and I'll show you how bad this thing is because this has a protective battery tab thing. I imagine this takes like two watch batteries. So it plays just like a Boppet Micro that we all know of, but it doesn't. this little thing does not go up to 100. It goes up to 50. The speaker quality, which you can see is just a little cheap ass speaker, is not the greatest. And it speeds up after every, like, after every two or five or something like that to make it up to 50. And they ripped Buddy Rubino's voice off of this, off of the Bop It Micro, into this little shit. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. They ripped it off. I'm sorry I have to put you guys through this. Here's the tab. Yeah, cheap, isn't it? I don't think it even says bop it to start, honestly. It doesn't. It doesn't even say I'm going to sleep either. I'm going to sleep. Oh, there it does. Well, it doesn't say bop it to start because it's a knockoff. But here, I'll show you just how much money I wasted. Passing. Solo. Passing. And it defaults on pass it, which is kind of stupid. And here, you can hear the audio quality. I told you, it's cheap as hell. Okay, let me play this thing. Oh, yeah, it's cheap. It's so cheap. Like, it doesn't even do a proper beat like the Bop It Micro does. It doesn't even do a good beat. It Solo. doesn't sound like this. Pop it. Twist it. Pull it. Yeah. <laughs> Too fast for you. Score two. Now, if people thought the Boppet XT Carabiner was bad, just from the way it was programmed with the sounds messed up, I'm going to sleep. this little sorry excuse for a Boppet, uh, for a bop it 
air quotes again, it, that tops the amount of worse level than the XT Carabiner does. Let me play this thing, see how far I can get. Wait, what? Oh, I'm on pass it? Damn it. Let's try this again. See, it speeds up faster. That's a bunch of ball right there. We'll try this again. Dang it. How can this thing be so tiny but so hard at the same time? I keep keep wanting to twist it. Dang it! You're supposed to push. You're, it's not even a twist. You're supposed to just push it. Like it's a cheap piece of crap. All right, let's just see how far I can get on this thing. Dang it! I keep twisting it on accident. You hating this yet? Cheap, isn't it? I'm going to sleep. Yeah, you better go to sleep. D did you even hear that? That is not even... That's not even close to a steady beat when it gets faster. That, that wasn't even close to steady compared to a micro. I tell you what, this thing... And you could hear the speaker getting worse and worse as I played it. Just like everything else made in China. Ain't gonna last long. Anyhow, just wanted to show this off to show you just how bad this is. And I highly recommend you do not buy it. Usually I wouldn't buy Bop It clones like this, but... I thought, you know what, I'm just going to show you guys how shitty things made in China are. Yeah, it even says 
in clear print. Come on. Is it going to do it? Come on now. All done. Here. You kind of see it. That print right there. It's kind of hard to see it actually. There you go. Made in China. Whoa. Figures. Sorry, my camera's blurry now. I absolutely hate having this kind of camera. Anyway, so I'm just going to leave it blurry for now because I'm done with the video. So thank you guys for watching this horrible piece of crap being showcased. I'll throw that with my small boppets that I absolutely do not use anymore. Um, one more thing is I'm going to be live streaming in a little less than an hour from the time this video is posted and I'm going to have a special guest on my live stream and you guys are going to enjoy it. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Peace out. Shout out to the channel, Atlanta Archive, for their request to bring this intro sequence from late 2020 back from the dead. Thank you.